Hello and welcome to another video. Just before we find the YDX, I just wanted to know that you giving this video a thumbs up or even sharing it with a friend or someone that you know will need it or leaving a positive comment in the comment section will help the YouTube algorithm to think this is a good video for somebody else to watch. And you never know what happens. You never know, you might save a life. Let's be lifesavers. Save mine and save the lives of others. Here we have um, a situation where a function is the power of a function. And when that happens, you want to quickly think of introducing logarithms. And the best logarithm I think you should introduce is natural log because it's easy to work with. So, and yeah, it's easy. So I'm just going to introduce natural log, take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to say ln y equals ln square root of x to the square root of x. Okay. so. What should we do? Um, well, we know that by the logarithm rules, this exponent is going to come back here, and then you have square root of x, and then square root of x. We do this because we can. We know there's a product rule for differentiation, but we don't know the rule when a function is the power of a function. So that's why you do this all the time. You see a function being the power of a function. If this was a constant, we, we wouldn't need to do this, but this is a, 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 a function. Okay, once the function is the ex exponent, you don't know the rule. You want to make sure it becomes um, a product. So let's go here. You have this, that's ln y. So we can take the derivative of both sides and we'll be fine. So if we differentiate both sides, to dx of ln y equals d dx of square root of x ln square root of x. Okay, now this is going to require the product rule. And so um, let's do that. Let's differentiate both sides. This is going to be, if you differentiate ln of anything, it's going to be 1 over that thing, unless that thing, in this case, which is y, is a function of x. Therefore, it has to be, you have to differentiate that itself. So if we differentiate y, we get dy dx, which is what we're looking for. So that's going to be dy dx. Okay, now on this side, we're going to have to use the product rule, which tells you keep the first differentiate the second. Keep the first. Differentiate the second. If I differentiate ln of anything, it's 1 over that thing. However, that thing itself is a function. So if you differentiate the square root of x, your answer will always be 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, you want to make sure you know this, that if you different the derivative of the square root of x, it shows up in almost everything that you'll be doing in calculus. So just master it, be used to it, okay? Now let's go to the second one plus. So the second part, remember the first part was keep the first, differentiate the second, plus differentiate the first, keep the second. Differentiate the first is gonna be one over two square root of x, and then you keep the second ln square root of x. Now, there are two ways to proceed from here because this is the differentiation you need to do. Anything else you do from now on is pure algebra. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything anymore um, other than you just knowing what you learned before you got to calculus class. So at this point, we're going to say dy dx will be equal to what you have on the right hand side multiplied by y because we're going to take it over to that side. But remember that y itself is this, is this expression. So instead of you multiplying by y on that side, you just replace it with this. But first, let's take care of this. You see, this will cancel this. And what you have left is 1 over 2 square root of x. And what you have here too is 1 over 2 square root of x. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out 1 over 2 square root of x. And what is left inside is going to be 1 plus ln square root of x. Beautiful then I'm going to multiply it by y. That y is this function we had at the beginning, rad x to rad x. Listen, I don't know what else I want to do. I will take this as my final answer. That's dy dx. But 
if you want to go on and further simplify, collect like terms, make everything look beautiful, you could actually rewrite this. Okay, I'm going to leave the one half here. One half, one plus ln square root of x. And then take this one here, use it to go divide this. So I'm going to have x to, sorry, square root of x raised to square root of x divided by square root of x. See, this is all exponents. You can simplify this. Let's even assume you don't want to see square roots. You just want x and you want to leave your answers in terms of with exponents. We can rewrite this, actually. This is going to be 1 half. Whoa, this is getting pretty. Okay, this is going to be 1 plus. This is going to be 1 half ln x. You see that? Because this half goes here and it was this. And then on this side, you're going to have x to the 1 half. Okay, multiplied by this, that's square root of x. Okay, that's going to be x to the 1 half. Nice, beginning to look beautiful. So that by the time you simplify this as a quotient, not two terms, and then your answer will be, I'm just going to write it this way, 1 over 2. If I simplify this, it's going to be 2 plus ln x over 2. So we're going to write 2 plus ln x over 2. And when we simplify this, applying the rules from our laws of exponents, it's going to be this exponent minus this exponent. So you're going to have x to the, this minus this, well, there's a half common, so I'm going to take out the 1 half and open a parenthesis and write x to the 1 half minus 1. Okay, now if this looks troubling, it means you should have stopped here. It doesn't matter. It depends on how you are required to present your answer. So this was, is with the square root signs. This is when the square root signs are simplified and there's none and you're going to get this answer. We can push this 2 here and you get 4 here. It doesn't make a difference. Make sure you remember to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.